In this video, I show you how to delete system data on your iPhone. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. Here we are on my iPhone and let's get right into this. So the first thing we need to do is go to our storage settings on our iPhone. So go and open up settings just like so, and then go to general. Then all you need to do is go and tap on iPhone storage. And here we are, it's gonna take a moment to load. Um, and as you can see at the top, I've got system data and mine is taking up quite a lot of space. Now, what you want to do is go to the bottom of this iPhone storage page, so scroll like this. And then right at the bottom, you're gonna have two options. One is iOS and one is system data. Now, if we go and tap on system data like this, we can actually go and see what it includes. As you can see, it includes caches or caches, logs, and other resources currently in use by the system. So let's go and reduce this. Now, just before I go and show you how to clear the system data, it's probably worth following your iPhone's recommendations of using um, the offloading apps features because sometimes it's actually easier to go and save storage and other things like the app section then system data because we can clear some of the system data but not all of it unless you watch the video right until the end where I have got a method where we can go and clear all the system data but the easiest way is is probably to go and offload use apps so I would definitely do that however to go and clear your system data the first way you can do this is by going out of your general so go back to your main iPhone settings and then scroll down until you can go and see Safari um, here it is then what you need to do is scroll down to the Safari page and what you want to do is go click on clear history and website data. This definitely takes up quite a lot of space of your system data and this is just one of many things. And something else which is worth checking which should take up a lot of system data is downloaded system updates which are yet to be installed. So to go and check if you've got any system updates which are downloaded but not yet installed, go to general and then go to software update and it's gonna go and check checking for updates. And as you can see at the minute, I've got this update for iOS 16 which is down download and install, but sometimes the um, updates are going to be downloaded, but they're not automatically installed and you need to manually install them. Um, but while you, before you install them, they're gonna be taking up a lot of space because they just downloaded on your device. So make sure you go and install any downloaded updates. The other thing you should do is, is also go and check individual apps. So if you go back to our general the and our, our iPhone storage, I can see that Snapchat and TikTok take up a lot of space. So what I'm gonna go and do is go and open up Snapchat. And this method applies to pretty much all apps. And all you want to do is go to those app settings, just like so. And what we need to do is go and find the cache or cache settings. We should go and have the option for the cache or cache. As you can see, account actions, we've got this option for clear cache or cache, and we can go and save 890 megabytes. That is insane. So I can go and tap that just like so, press clear. Um, and then I'm gonna have an extra nearly gigabyte free on my iPhone um, and some of these apps are going to be included in the system data so it's definitely worth doing it although sometimes um, they are in, in their own data as well but it's definitely worth clearing caches anyway and just to show you, you can do this in so many apps here I am on TikTok so let's go and click on the three bars in the top right and go to settings and privacy then we can go and scroll down and there's going to be an option uh, for cache and cellular and what you want to do is go and tap on free up space and as you can see I can go and clear um, over 180 megabytes if I go and clear my downloads and the cache or cache so I'll click clear and that's going to clear 60 megabytes just like that and I can do the same to the downloads as well and just like that I've already freed up a load of space now if you want to go and fully clear your, your system data then what you need to do is come back to the general page on your iPhone then scroll to the bottom and what we actually need to do is go and click on transfer or reset iPhone so if you truly want to go and remove all your system data then you need to go and reset your iPhone just because over time your iPhone collects up loads of these sort of cache and cache files logs and loads of other things that you can't always delete but resetting it is going to do that so what I'd recommend doing is backing your phone up to iCloud and maybe um, iTunes on your computer as well. Go and reset it and then go and restore it um, and download all your contacts and music and things like that again. And you'll definitely want to free up a lot of space uh, because it's just going to clear all your system data and it's the best way to do it. It's quite extreme, but it is the best way. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.